Water Limited and the client is the Ma National Maritime Authority. The vessel is a Semi-1. The location is the Estonia in the Baltic Sea and the task is a survey of the mud line depth around the keel of the ship. This is tape number RW oblique Semi-1 oblique Est oblique R oblique 94 oblique 001. The date is the 2nd of December. The time is dis continually displayed in the bottom right hand corner of the monitor. From the launch position, um, having to manoeuvre around these propellers, obviously easily entangled in. And we'll start our mudline survey from this point, which is actually the touchdown point when we went round and had a look at deck level 2 that's the point at which it touches the seabed just in line with these propellers maybe slightly astern by about a meter ok, ROV is now located looking at uh, a sea chest, an inlet here inlet is located to the forward end of the stabilization keel which is just to our right hand side and at this point we will drop down to the seabed to take a datum reference. Okay, the reading here of 75.3 meters. This is a, at the approximately the 60 meter mark from the stern of the vessel. At this point, so uh, let's pause the video, uh, get the navigation to fix our position uh, so we can move along another 20 meters. Video pause. Our ROV now has uh, its fix has been taken. We now move off to our left, see a sea chest which is our datum point, We're flying uh, along one of these seams to give us a reference and uh, out of the bad visibility which is at seabed level. We'll move along approximately 20 meters and move down to the bottom to take a reading. This will be the at the 80 meter mark.
I'm going to be just maneuvering down to the mudline level. This is at uh, the 80 meter mark. Distance to the seabed at this point, which is the 80 meter mark from the stern, mud line is 75.8. I'll be now maneuvering along. We'll enter up towards the 100 meter mark and uh, just using the HPR uh, reference system, we will move along another 20 meters. Now estimating this to be at uh, 100 meters from the stern uh, using the nav system. Uh, not really any way of orientating ourselves, uh, there's no references on this hull. I'm just moving down at this point to take a seabed or mudline reading. As you can see there, the uh, the attitude of the, the vessel is such that it's pitched over at uh, past 90 degrees and uh, we're actually looking at uh, the underside of the vessel. That which we are just passing there is the ship's uh, taut wire which is uh, located just just to the, uh, the outboard side of this. Just maneuvering now back along 
this is a forward or a forward bilge kill um, just to ascertain how long it is Okay, this is the aft end, aft end of the, uh, the bilge keel. This is the one which is uh, forward of the, the previous reading that we took. Now just sit on the aft end of this bilge keel and take a, a reading of the depth. Reading at uh, this point is uh, 75 meters. Uh, this is at the aft end of this kill. Depth reading at the seabed uh, just below the bilge keel is 76.6 meters, which is 1.6 meters from the seabed to the keel, which is just in front of us now. Just now heading uh, forward of the vessel. It's approximately 10 meters long, this keel, and we'll take a reading at the forward end and again at the seabed to show the mud line.
now at the forward end at uh, the forward end of this build keel this build keel is on the starboard side of the vessel at the forward end just sit on top of it and take a, a reading of the depth depth reading is 75.4 meters at this point Now we will maneuver down onto the seabed, uh, which is just below this kill, and take a reading. Reading at this uh, mudline level, uh, below the forward end of that keel is 80.7 meters. And at this point, just below the bilge keel reading, we'll take a short video pause. Hi. 